Hello, my name is Andy, but I'm not the Andy Chamberlain you're used to. I occupy the same body, and I have access to the same YouTube channel, I even share the same name, but I'm a different entity. I am a journalist, and this is my mini-documentary on the great diss track war of The Hideaway. The Hideaway is a Jacob Collier fan Discord server, and for the past month and a half, a diss track war has raged. And there's a lot to get through, but I should tell you before we begin that I've been informed by a trustworthy inside source that there are a lot more diss tracks on the way quite soon. So this video will almost certainly have a part two. But for now, buckle up, take a seat, grab some popcorn, relax, and let me take you through the great diss track war of The Hideaway. In the beginning, Sammy created The Hideaway Discord. Now the server was formless and empty. Darkness lay upon the general text channel, and the spirit of microtonal modulation was hovering over the voice chat. Sammy said, Please join my server, and eventually people did. The great dominoes of the universe fell one by one until one day, in December 2019, two users of the Discord named IJ and Lizardbrain began the first hideaway game. Jazz Game, also known as Jay's Game. Lizard Brain was really the originator of the Jazz Gang, but IJ will end up being much more central to this story. For another gang was made in May. In the land of Volume 3 Height and the fires of jealousy over gang membership, the Dark Lord Lawrence Long forged in secret a new gang to rise against the Jazz Gang. And into this gang he poured his vigor, his self-image, and his will to dominate the hideaway. One gang to rule them all. At least, it seemed that way at first. When LL Gang was created, IJ left Jazz Gang to join them, and soon became an integral part in challenging what he had helped to create all those months ago. IJ released the first diss track entitled, Jay's Gang Ends Now, on May 17th, 2020. The future of the Jazz Gang is looking pretty bleak. LL got more members and it's been less than a week. While the Jazz Gang did not in fact end that day, it was deeply rattled, and the server's great thirst for disrespect in the form of rap was unleashed. That same day, two more diss tracks were released by the server owner Sammy and by member Arachnus. These two immediate responses were very different. Sammy's diss was on the entirety of LL Gang, a response to the subject matter of IJ's original diss, and it sounded like this. Can anybody tell me who Lawrence is? Or are you just going to follow the first prick that is? On the other hand, Arachnus's track was a diss on IJ himself and sounded like this. I can see there's no way to get the truth in your head other than ending this diss track with an F major mandolin shred. The next day, member Andy, Andy Chamberlain, the Andy Chamberlain music who you normally see on this YouTube channel, released a diss track with a new target, the totality of gangs on the Hideaway Discord. Jazz Gang has been crushed, I need not repeat that, but LL Gang is just as bad and later I will get to that. It was actually Andy's birthday that day when he made that track, and I have a trustworthy inside source that tells me he had actually been wanting to make a diss track for a long time, uh, but he just didn't have any beef because he was vegetarian, and this presented him with a great opportunity to finally engage in reportedly ironic disrespect in rap form, and he had quite a good birthday as a result. These three responses were levied in quick fashion, but it would be several more days before another track was added to the list. This time, a response from IJ, directed specifically at Andy. Mass. My general knowledge before and after watching your educational videos was the same. Your name is Andy Chamberlain, but they should call you Andy Chamberlain. This track was very short and took a while, which IJ claims was due to lack of access to recording equipment at the time. While the exact reason is unclear as to why IJ only responded to Andy and not the other two people who had made response tracks, it may be due to a rivalry created in a piano battle between IJ and Andy back when Andy first joined the server. There is, however, no conclusive proof one way or the other, so this may remain a mystery. 
Now, Andy didn't have any problems with accessing his equipment, and thus was quick to reply, making a diss track that same day, which turned out to be the longest diss track seen so far on The Hideaway. When you produced his tiny, insignificant, and petty Playground Insults couplet rhyming, here's a lesson, are you ready? IJ responded soon once again, featuring chords and melodies from various places like Jacob Collier's All I Need and Smash Mouth's All Star. You pathetic scumbag, everyone on The Hideaway knows that IJ is the the superior musician, also your haircut looks like a Lego accessory. This chapter would close with a final track from Andy, which featured the first sampling of a previous diss track, and the first odd time signature, which reportedly was very difficult to write a rap for. Voice crack, produce track, keep it in, that's whack, then call me cringe worthy, and that's mad. This track was Andy's last contribution to the war and ended with a heavily modified version of Smash Mouth's All Star, which was at the time uploaded as a standalone clip on his YouTube channel. Then a hiatus, a deep void, a winter unlike any other, when no diss tracks were posted on the hideaway for multiple weeks. But finally, on June 14th, 2020, it was picked up again. A user by the name of Manuel started talking a lot about how he was about to diss lots of people and that his gang, LL, had the goal of dissing those who deserve it. To no one's surprise, IJ was his first proclaimed target, largely because IJ had recently left LL, as he'd left Jazz Gang before, to create yet a new gang, the Zeta Gang. IJ was quick to the draw, as he had quite a bit of experience at this point. He made a diss track on Manual, featuring many repetitions of Absolutely Cringe as a lyric in reference to Manual. Absolutely cringe. Absolutely cringe. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely cringe. Ha, <laughs> Manual. Cringe. Manuel responded quickly with his own diss track defending LL and dissing IJ. IJ, you just swag. Just keep on talking smack. You better take a step back before I break out the facts. This manual IJ back and forth was quite substantial in chat, so it's likely more will come of this, and indeed more did come immediately after Manuel's track. At almost exactly the same time Manuel's response to IJ dropped, within minutes, another track dropped called The CIA, a pun on the initials of the three members who made the diss, Curried Sock, known as Curry, IJ, and Arachnus, who you may remember made one of the first responses to IJ, but at this point had become an ally and joined the Zeta Gang. The CIA introduced a new sound to the diss war, with more of a love song vibe coupled with some truly savage lyrics. I just did arthritis from carrying LL on his back so much the weight of which is comparable to that of a taco truck. After the CIA came a little side skirmish with a diss by member Rafa on the Lapel Gang. It's the first of the diss tracks to use autotune. But me man. Rafa actually inspired Label Gang to exist for the short time it did in the first place, but in a similar story to IJ, he abandoned it for Zeta Gang and dropped a diss. Look at these goons going crazy over spoons, yeah. They think they're cool, worshipping a metal too, yeah. Finally, we arrive at the latest track in the war so far. Now, the CIA and Manuel's diss on IJ came out at almost exactly the same time, so Curry made another diss on LL called LL Gang Exposed as an actual response, which seems redundant when you look at the order, but only because Manuel's diss and the CIA were made without knowledge of each other. The cavity in your cranium where your brain used to be is even more empty now than an Airbus A330. And that concludes the current history of the Great Hideaway diss track war. Now something interesting to note is that a lot of the players in this diss track war are jazz musicians, and so an element that we see quite often is an instrumental jazz solo as part of the diss track to kind of prove that you're a reasonably talented musician, or reasonably skilled musician, because let's be real, talent is a scam. But anyway, it's interesting to note and it may be missing from other arenas where we find diss tracks. Now, I've compiled these diss tracks all into a SoundCloud album, which I've linked in the description because I'm a good journalist and I cite my sources. But with that, I bid you farewell and I hope to see you in the next installment of this documentary series covering the Hideaway Discord.